This video is sponsored by Wingwing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution, featuring the Orion Holtes, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Back on the 25th of June 2021, we did this video, the Chinese fighter mod pack by Snowy Wolf for DCS World. It gave us the J7, the J11 Bravo, the J11 Delta, the J15 Bravo, the J16 Block 7, the J16 Delta, and the J20 and the J20 Bravo. In this video, we showed how to download, install, set up the different variants, the different weapons, the models, the cockpits, the flight models, and testing the weapons. What we didn't show was testing the guided air to ground and air to surface and air to ship missiles because I couldn't get them working at the time. We've now figured them out. So now we're going to do finally looking at the guided air to ground weapons. So the first thing you'll need to start with is this document here it's a spreadsheet that shows you which weapons are designed to work on which variants if it's not listed in here then it won't work you'll be able to load it up on your aircraft for instance you can load up that missile there under that aircraft but it won't work you won't be able to fire it and that was what was getting us so frustrated last time so we're not going to look at air, -air missiles here because we've covered that before we're not going to look at unguided bombs and rockets here and guns because we've covered all that before and i've tested everything here and everything is now working at 5th of october 2021 except j7d some of the controls aren't working and i've reported that back to snowy wolf the maker and he's going to go and fix that so we can go over in terms of guided air to ground j11 delta j15 bravo j16 block 7 j16 delta and the j20 and the j20 bravo roughly how the sheet works. If it says blind fire, it means there's no aiming system for the missile. It'll fire, but it probably won't guide. If it doesn't have blind fire, like that there, that there, these ones down here, then they guide properly. And I will link this sheet in the video description that you can download to help you as a guide. So I've got all the planes here, but the things that I'll show just to keep things simple are, I've got a J11 Delta, and I've got some KH-31 Papa, anti-radiation missiles here and we're going to sling them at an anti-radiation site these are blind fire so we just fire them i've got no way of choosing a target or guiding them next blind fire blind fire next why don't we do a j16 delta there's loads of weapons that work on this and i've just tried to get as many on here as we can we've got a kh uh, sorry yj 83 kh that's an anti-shipping missile another anti-shipping missile is the yj 91 anti-shipping we've got the laser guided KAB 1500 kilos, a 3,000 pound bomb. We've got a TV guided KH 29 uh, Kedge, I think that's called. We've got our Phantom Smogoria Elimp Pod. We've got a KAB 500 kilo, 1,000 pound TV guided. We've got a KH 29, this is a Kedge, I think, but a laser guided variant. And we've got an LD 10, which is the anti radiation variant of the SD 10. And there's a bunch more you can choose from uh, that are going to work pretty much the same after that we will then go and just use the j20 the new fighter bomber and drop a uh, ls6 500 next we're going to look at controls so let's start with the j16d it's got the most stuff on it that was working and guided so controls is going to be the same as the su25t which you'll all already have and have it set up anyway so use those controls plus some stuff from a flanker plus a couple of bits from the F-22 Grinelli mod if you're using the J-20, which relies on the Grinelli mod. Throughout most of this stuff, air to ground is going to be using weapon fire to launch the bombs or the missiles, target lock to acquire a target lock with our T-Pod or Shkval. To slew that T-Pod about, we're going to have TDC up, down, left and right. To change our weapon, we've got weapon change there. To put ourselves into air to ground master mode, we're going to press 7. To turn on our Shkval or our T-Pod, we've got O. To turn on our Elint system, I. To turn on our laser designator called a laser rangefinder here, I've got it set as U. And this here, launch permission override, we will need or it will certainly help us to fire some of the weapons. First, why don't we go anti-shipping on this aircraft. So, come off the power there. 7 air to ground master mode which weapon we've got the yj83 selected to standard that's fine i for elint target designated to choose our target let's choose that ship there target lock we don't have la launch authority so let's get it by pressing launch permission override we now have la press the fire weapon and off it goes next it's already got the yj91 anti-ship missile selected so let's just unlock that target 
Let's lock another target. And let's fire again. And that will be the YJ. And we're getting locked by a SAM site, so why don't we go to anti-radiation now? Uh, we've already got the, uh, the 10 selected, as you can see there. So let's go and find... With our alien Tom, let's go and find a SAM to shoot. Uh, there he is. Select him, if we can. Got him. Nose up. Fire. So LD-10 out. Turner on, let's get out of here. There's our YJ-83, our YJ-91. Oh, it's actually going to miss. It hasn't missed before. Oh, no. Yes, look at that. Okay. Must admit, that usually works fine. Maybe we'll try again in a minute. 83 is going to work. And LD-10, it looks like it's working. Boom. I think I was probably outside launch parameters for the um, YJ-91 forced it above the uh, top okay the LD-10 it's got the SAM site turn our Elint off now it's, the next weapon is going to be our KH-29T our optical guided um, missile we're going to turn our teapot on with O we're going to go and find a target which should be over here somewhere okay we're going to slew our teapot onto the target the slew keys where are they? Target locked to lock a target. Find a better target. Zoom in with... Just play zoom in, zoom out. Better target there. Beautiful. Locked. Check we've got launch authority. LA and we have. So, launch. fire. It goes our KH-29T. Next, let's do our KH-29L. So, chain weapon. Okay find a new target uh, that guy there we need to turn the laser rangefinder on press U there fire now we've got to keep the laser on that guy there because it's going to follow that laser so here's the tango version oh look at the laser overtook it the laser was faster <laughs> All right, that's those done. Next, we've got our KAB-1500, 3,200-pound bomb. Turn our teapot off. Need to get some altitude for this one. Your optical on, teapot on, nose onto the target, find the target, target ground lock, slew to find a target, target found. I'm now going to fly level, wait until I um, turn my laser rangefinder off, and because I don't want it to overheat, it will overheat if you keep it on. We're going to put it back on just before we fire the bomb. We'll fire the bomb when that arrow there gets within that mark there. Unpause. Laser range finder on. Wait for Launch the... authorized. Drop the bomb. Big bomb go. Now we need to keep ourselves in an aspect that allows our teapod to keep illuminating this site there. The way we can do that is to ensure that this arrow here stays as close to the center of this here as we can. In terms of steering, we can either do it visually or if that's too hard, we can use this arrow here in relation to this scale here, keep it in the center. It means that we'll probably put ourselves in a dive, something like that. You can see how I'm manipulating the dive to keep that arrow in the center and that arrow in the center. This is a slow bomb, so I have to go as slow as I can. What we don't want is me hitting the ground before the bomb. Boom! 3,000 pounds of explosive. Look at that. Lovely. Teapot off. Laser Ranger off. Okay, we're next. We're on our cab 500, so let's head away again. Same deal. Keep on on. Find the target. Target lock, ground lock. Zoom in. That guy there will like the look of. 
Beautiful. Uh, we won't need a laser. I'm pretty sure this is the optical variant, so we won't need a laser. We've just got to fly now, straight and level, or we can go up a bit actually to get some altitude. Get the arrow between the marks here and do what we did last time. Drop. Oh, I got my air brake out. Whoopsie. Embarrassing for me. Hopefully, we can still get a hit on this guy. Got him. That one was a bit close because uh, we were just too low. We should have been several thousand feet higher. I have a look at my plane. That is us completely empty. Just redo one, which is the YJ91. Let's get that working properly. Seven. Get the YJ91. Elin. Got the bad guy up. Let's get a little bit closer. I expect I was just out of range, and that was why. Okay, let's try and launch it from here. Launch over right on. Fire the weapon. Pretty cool looking weapon. Uh, I get the feeling this actually has a 20 kilometer range. 20 kilometer, I'd probably put it over 20 kilometers. It should skim, and it is skimming, so it's looking like it's working this time. Big old warhead on this thing. Pretty awesome weapon. And there we go, that's how you use the uh, YJ91. Right, that's all the types, at least, of weapon that we can fit on the J16D. Let's look at a blind fire variant. Look at the J11D. On it, we've got a load more KH31Ps which are the anti-radiation variant. There's not really much you can do with this. You can just go on air to ground mode, put launch authority on, got no way of aiming it. Put it roughly in the direction of someone that's emitting uh, EM, electromagnetism, and um, fire. And hope one of them will track, catch the signal. We've got a track. We got a track. So all we had to do was fire so that we knew that the emitter, probably on that ship in this case, was going to be in the about 20 degree, I think, nose cone of this missile and it should track. And this is how these type of blind fire weapons work. Oh look, that one's got that ship, look. That was not bad for just point and guess. Boom, ship down, ship down. Any more coming in? And these are dead because those ships are dead and probably not emitting or they just weren't in uh, the capability of tracking. Finally, the J20. This one's a bit funny. I don't think it's working properly at the moment, but I'll show you anyway. So, go and find something to bomb. This uses the F22 cockpit, as you can see, or a slightly modified version of. Press 7. Now, you've got, you can see, a bomb full line, a dotted line going up to down. However, it's not quite working at the moment. I think it's in reverse or something. So, what should happen is that if I point my nose down, it should stay going vertically down, but it doesn't. It goes weird and skew it. I pretty much just ignore it as far as I'm concerned. But instead, we're just going to go launch permission override. And for this one, we're going to be zap weapon release, and we're going to have to aim by eye until they get that uh, bomb full line working. Let's see if we can get this bomb on him. And get some. that hits, then I'm going to play the lottery today. Oh my god, you can't even, it's actually going to hit. Oh, look how close that, well, I got him, 50% damage. Wow, <laughs> that was easy to use, and I thought. So, in summary, that shows how to use blind fire weapons, various ones with the different airframes, how to use the J-16 Delta with different types of anti-shipping and the different stipulations requirements for the missiles, how to use an anti-radiation variant, how to use optical guided missiles, how to use laser guided missiles, how to use optical guided bombs, how to use laser guided bombs, and how to use the weird hybrid CCIP type LS6500 for the J20. The only thing outstanding is the J7, which I've sent to be fixed for the Grom, the KH66. I've sent no to fix it. He's going to fix that. That should be fixed in the next version. So, I finally got there. I did this video that you wanted. I hope that was useful, and I'll see you later.